day two with Riding with the Stars. And today, we're gonna go all the way to Spain, in Barcelona, to a young woman and her, uh, by the name of Maria Montserrat Gracias Gracia. And she was more commonly known as Monse. Monse was a very Catholic, grew up in a very Catholic family, and she was affiliated with this institute called Opus Dei, the work of God. And they were known for sanctifying their work in ordinary things in extraordinary ways. And so Monse, growing up in this very strong faith, strong spirituality and formation of personal prayer, scripture, life of the saints, of different things that really helped her, her call to holiness and evangelization. And so Monse was also known for her contagious joy, her cheerfulness and affectionate personality that she had. She loved hiking, she loved doing the normal activities of a young teenager, right? Hiking, mountain, mountain, mountain climbing, and hanging out with her friends. But she was this person with, who, who held this joy that was so contagious to her friends that you never left her the same way. And so, with Monse, we can also learn one more thing. It was her something very beautiful about her spirituality. It was something known as ejacular, ejaculatory prayers or aspirations. And these came from the depths of her heart that in her prayer, meditation, and scripture reading, she had these beautiful sayings. And three common ones that she used was that, I am a daughter of the Heavenly Father. And another one was, wherever I, whatever, whatever you want, wherever you want, use me. And my favorite one out of all, omnus in bonum, all is good. Yes, all is good. This comes from Romans 8.28. And so we can also have these different aspirations of our heart that comes from prayer, it comes from meditation, maybe it comes from family prayer. But maybe at the beginning or just maybe sometime before family prayer, we can take a moment to really listen to the silence of our hearts. And what is God speaking to you? God is God speaking to you as a parent to really help your children, teach them these aspirations that you receive. It may be something simple. It was in these deep meditations and prayers that even Mother Mary and Saint Joseph was able to sustain and be persevered during that difficult time for the baby Jesus to be born in swaddling clothes as our savior. And so this Advent season, we can journey with Monse and the Holy Family to learn how to really pray and have these aspirations. And maybe even write this down in a diary or a notebook where you can share it with your children after family prayer. And so ask yourself, what is my aspiration today? It may be from scripture. It may be from some life experience. It may be at home quarantine, watching a video, whatever it is, ask from the depths of your heart and you will know how, what do the will of God and it will help you to lead a life of holiness. At the end of her life, she was known as a person who always had a cheerfulness and joy as I mentioned earlier and her friends would come by her side and she could feel the presence of Christ. And that's how we should also imitate um, all these different scenes that we're going to be learning and journeying about. And so today, this day too, let us imitate Christ ultimately and ask in the depths of our hearts what are is my aspiration today and for this let us pray the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now always and forever Amen. today's challenge let's recite our favorite ejaculatory prayer often also let's make this prayer our WhatsApp status. Ejaculatory prayer. Thy will be done. 